Baby Ruby. Movie review. Baby Ruby is a best wall directed American thriller drama starring Noemi Merlant, Kit Harrington, and Meredith Hayner. Motherhood can be a nightmare. Baby Ruby isn't the first film to say this, and it won't be the last. In recent years, the conversation about motherhood has shifted to more openly acknowledge its challenges. Baby Ruby takes a horror spin on the concept and is jam packed with compelling, timely ideas. Unfortunately, it is never present long enough to see any of those ideas through. Baby Ruby has a lot of promise at first, but its failure to follow through on threads and reliance on basic scares leaves it feeling hollow. Joe, played by Noemi Merlant, is first seen painstakingly cutting out the letters for a banner for her own baby shower. Joe is the hard working boss of a successful lifestyle blog, and she appears to have the perfect life with her supportive husband, Spencer, played by Kit Harrington. However, Unni sets in not long after the happy couple welcomes the titular baby Ruby. Joe is gradually worn down as Ruby cries at the top of her lungs at all hours, torn between her deep love for her daughter and her growing fear that something isn't quite right. As the lines between reality and nightmare blur, Joe begins to wonder who is the real threat, Ruby, the people around them, or herself. Director Wall does an excellent job of staging the initial transition from perfection to terror. Joe's story highlights the stark contrast between baby Ruby's birth and the post birth world, emphasizing the idea that they are actually two separate lives. Wall does not make the birth and its immediate aftermath overly graphic, but the amount of blood on Joe leaves an indelible impression. Ruby's shrill cries echo throughout their home and in the viewer's ears as she and Spencer settle Ruby in, effectively rattling the audience just as much as Joe. The editing team uses some clever visual tricks to emphasize the monotony of Joe pacing around with a sobbing Ruby, desperately trying to calm her down. However, while baby Ruby sets out to be a sharp critique of motherhood and the rosy, unrealistic narrative that often surrounds it, it falls short. Wall raises a number of intriguing points, including America's inadequate childcare programs and how social media can distort one's perception of a mother who has it all together. Wall explores each of these ideas through casual lines of dialogue and interactions with supporting characters like Spencer's mother Doris and Joe's new friend Shelley. With Joe swerving from one conspiracy theory to the next, None of these ideas stick, leaving baby Ruby with superficial social commentary. This would be fine if the film had only succeeded as a horror film, but those elements also fall flat. The wall includes several memorable jump scares, many of them are foreshadowed beforehand, and others appear to have been thrown together quickly. Moments that veer toward the paranormal, such as a brief scene in which Joe's shadow splits off from her and walks away, demonstrate Joe's slipping grasp on reality. Except for a subtle example with Joe and her reflection, none of these have the intended impact. They all feel too heavy handed. Merlin, the actress, rises to the occasion with a riveting performance. She plays Joe's growing paranoia with breathless abandon, and even if the viewer has a sense of what's going on, Merlin sells the idea that darker forces are at work. If there is a standout among the supporting actors, it is Hayner, who gives Shelley just the right amount of warmth and unease, adding to Joe's growing suspicions. 
Baby Ruby, on the other hand, is Merlin's show, forcing her into difficult positions that highlight her strength as a performer. A horror film examining the stress and trauma of a postpartum experience is a brilliant idea, and Wall's personal touch brings Baby Ruby to life. In the end, it's more of a missed opportunity than a feature that thoughtfully examines its themes. Joe's story will undoubtedly resonate with many people, and as a result, it can be argued that this film is worthwhile. One only wishes it had gone deeper into its exploration of motherhood and the terrors it brings, it could have had a far greater impact.